surprises in store. Just put your head round the door, get it together. Looks like the whole world's here for the night of the year. It's Grandma's party tonight. Tell you everybody's going to the party. Everybody's going to the party. Everybody's going to the party. It's Grandma's party tonight. Bells are ringing and the captain's here. Mr. Sax, he's swinging from the chandelier. So Welcome to the program. Hello. Well, that was a Roy request, and it comes from, um, oh, come on, Ollie, you read it. Right, it was from Little Nanny Wood of Norwich. Norwich, Ollie. Well, that's why Roy did Grandma's party, see, because Nanny Wood wanted a song for her twin grandchildren for their birthday. <laughs> <laughs> right, and it was also from their mum and dad and Gary and Toby the dog. Hey. What? First time we've had a request from a dog. I know. What's next, then, Ollie? Hey, suddenly I'm doing all the work round here. Well, oh. it's Mike Holloway with Come, Go With Me. Oh.
Racing on, and that song was for the lads on Division C from David Latham of Withenshaw. And now a request for Debbie Stevens of Blackpool. So here for you, Debbie, are Classiques Nouveau. <laughs>
And that was the TSDs dancing to another Latin love song from the Bell Stars. I like them, don't you, Ollie? Ollie? Shh, I'm busy, I'm busy. What you got there? The complete works of William Shakespeare? What's all this? If you must know, I'm studying my part. You? Doing a Shakespeare play? I don't believe it. Well, I haven't actually been offered a part yet, but it's foregone conclusion, really, in auditions. Just a formality. What audition? I never heard about any auditions. I should be going for that. I'm the actor around here. Sorry, lad. Sorry, look, this one's out of your class. They really want experienced, sensitive actors for this. It's for Shakespeare's latest. His latest play? Oliver, Shakespeare is dead. Is he? I haven't seen any papers today. <laughs> anyway, I'm not bothered. I've got to learn this piece for my audition. All right, I'll tell you what, I do know a bit about acting. Would you like me to test you with your lines? Hey, that might be help. It's this bit here I'm having trouble with. It's the silky solly bit. Soliloquy. Pardon? Never mind. Come on, let's get on with it. Right, now remember, you don't have to applaud at the end. It's only an audition. <laughs> All right, I'll try and contain myself. Here we go, then. <laughs> right, then. To be or not to be? Yes? To be or not to be? That is the question. I know that's the question. To be or not to be? I know it's the question because there's a question mark at the end. I worked that out for myself, thank you. That is the next line, you beaky buffoon. Oh, I haven't got that far. It's taken me all day to learn the first bit. Anyway, that'll be enough. That'll be enough. They're bound to recognise me talent from that one line. Oh, here's Meg. I think I'll try that on her. Hello. Hi, hey, Meg. what's this? Shakespeare? That's a coincidence. My drama group's doing Shakespeare today. We're auditioning actors. What did you say? I said that my drama group's auditioning actors, Ollie. I heard you, you exquisite little songstress, you vision of delight, you. OK, <laughs> Ollie, got the point. What does he want this time, Roy? I have no idea, Meg. I suppose you want to borrow 50p, is that it? 50p? Certainly not. I know. You heard that I baked a cake and you'd like to try it out for me. As if I would, you clever little talent spotter, you. <laughs> talent spotter? <laughs> Big book of Shakespeare. I think the penny has finally dropped. He's not very subtle, is he? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Ollie, I'm sorry, we're doing Romeo and Juliet and I don't actually think there's any owls in it. Are you quite sure there might be an important scene with a Romeo owl you've forgotten? <sighs> I'm sorry, Ollie, no owls. Well, how about writing one in a, a nice dramatic bit about an owl on a balcony? It'd make all the difference. Add a bit of class, wouldn't it? Ollie, but this is Shakespeare. You can't go mucking about with Shakespeare. Well, you said he was dead. It won't make no difference to him, would it? Look, Ollie, there's no point. I mean, it would be a waste of your, uh talents. <laughs> mm, maybe you're right. Me acting would put everyone in the shade. All right, Meg, I'll not bother. I'll give the others a bit of a chance. Oh, Ollie, that is very generous of you. Think nothing of it, my little Megisha mate. I tell you what, to show how big-hearted I am, I'll take you up on the two offers you made. What two offers? You know, lending me 50p and let me have half of that cake you baked. Oh, <laughs> you crafty owl. OK, well, you can have the tiniest little bit of cake, but I'm afraid I'm flat broke and the most I can lend you is 2p. Hmm. 2p or not 2p? <laughs> that is the question. <laughs> you. You're both mad. Anyway, let's get on with the show and some dedications coming up. And first, we've got one from Sally March and Vanessa Halfpenny from Nottingham, and it's from their mum. And then from Colin of Manchester for Michelle Martin, Lee, Stephen and great-grandma. So here for all of you is Bob Fish with no chance. <laughs> Every night the sun goes down All alone my room is dark I wish I could shut down The feeling in my heart I got no chance of loving you No chance at all I got no chance of loving you
to Bob Fish, and that's it for this week. Right, so as they say in Italy, arrivederci. Or as they say north of the border, we'll avoir the new. Ciao. Au revoir. <laughs> eh, Shriek Spenselsky. Hey, what language is that? I don't know, I just made it up. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Surprises in store Just put your head round the door Get it together